All right, there are my front mounting points. There's one right there, and this one here for my H bar. I measured perfectly on both sides so they're symmetrical. Also, I have rocket launchers that fit in here that won't interfere with this, or this won't interfere with the rocket launchers. Um, basically, I use stainless hardware. Um, also, use a big stainless fender washer underneath with a uh, regular washer between the fender washer and the nylon lock nut. I also use Lexel. Uh, I don't believe in anything but Lexel. It's not only a great uh, sealer, it's also an adhesive and uh, it works wonders for fittings on kayaks. Again, there's my dog food containers. I use these for a lot of things. You'll see a video on my website. If you have to clean off some of the Lexel, I would recommend mineral spirits. Never use acetone or any kind of harsh chemical on a kayak. <clears throat> uh, mineral spirits will clean off uh, silicone around these uh, fittings and what have you without damaging the hole. So let me get the back mounts on, which will be um, right here. Maybe even back here. I don't know yet. I got to fit the front to see and. Uh, then we'll continue. Alright guys, here's my finished product. My mom's walker. May she rest in peace. Love you mom. But I wasn't going to throw it out. So there it is. Um, basically it's a, uh, a walker that I took apart. Put some uh, deck hinges here and here on both sides some clevis pins put some uh, clamps here forget what they call them jaw clamps I believe they call them and uh, so that's it that's a homemade H bar on my Hobie Outback um, I have a piece that was taken out of right here that I'm going to shorten and put across here for an extra brace. Put a pool noodle across here and uh, that's in the straight up position. It adjusts ten different ways. Let me show you. Okay, the other position was straight up. This is all the way back with the two back braces lowered as far as you can get them. The previous position was with the back braces all the way up. I can actually lower the front braces six or seven positions, possibly eight to be able to stand it back up this way but it'll be a shorter bar depending on the height of the person. I'm pretty tall, I'm 6'2", so uh, standing right here it's going to be perfect. Matter of fact, yeah, it's actually too close. Uh, my feet are right up against the seat. I need to move it out to where it's right about here but Let me do that and I'll show you guys uh, that adjustment. Alright, that's position number five on the lower uh, brackets. Not quite vertical, not quite all the way back. Let's check it out. That is perfect. My belly button is a couple inches below the handle. The handle's probably three inches above my belly button. My feet are right across the uh, hatch, the flat part. Um, if I need to sit down, I can sit down. And if I need to stand up, all I got to do is grab it, lift myself up 
there I am. If I want to put my feet up against the seat further, I can adjust it back. Or if I want to stand more forward, uh, then it's in a perfect position. So let me show you how it folds up. All right, guys, there it is folded down. You can see my hatch has plenty of clearance and it will open without any problem with it folded down. Um, the only thing I need to do is get a couple of oar paddle holders, the C type rubber ones, to possibly put on here or here actually to uh, hold this piece. I've just got some duct tape there right now. Um, my clevis pins, I've got some stainless cable. I just need to put a piece of cable on that uh, on that ring and a washer under it with a, a clamp to, to screw it down so I don't lose them. But again, an oar clamp or an oar paddle holder right there and on the other side will work perfect. Uh, these pieces here came off of the, the walker. They were the cross braces for the side. And I'm going to use them on here. I'm actually going to put a cross brace right here uh, just to stiffen it up right here. Uh, I'll put it just above where the hatch is so that I can still open the hatch. All I have to do is cut it and this piece that uh, was left over it'll sleeve it's uh, the inside diameter of this is the outside diameter of this piece so I'll just sleeve it and I'll have a brace there it'll it'll make it much stronger and on the other one I'm gonna do the same thing right here uh, right below where the hatch is same situation I'm gonna take this piece of pipe right here uh, cut this in the middle and expand it to where it fits right across there. You can see that's the highest position on the front H-bar um, part and it fits right there where the hatch has plenty of room to open. So I'll have two brackets there to make it even stronger. All I gotta do is cut that in half, sleeve it with this, put a couple of stainless uh, bolts in each end and then drill a hole and screw it in. You can see where they came out right here. Uh, right there I'm probably gonna put a screw through it and mount something there. I don't know yet. So there you have it. My homemade Hobie H bar for an Outback that uh, I didn't pay two hundred dollars for. But um, the price of it was, uh, the cost of it was priceless. I lost my mother, but uh, Lord willing, she'll be with me every day I'm out there fishing the flats and using this thing. So the only thing I need to do is take it completely apart and I want to spray it down real good, put three or four coats of clear uh, Rust-Oleum just to protect it from the salt water. Um, give it a little more useful life. So there you go guys. That's my homemade OBH bar. And here's to y'all. Cheers.